Hi, welcome to the video Spring Security Blend Text Password Encoder. No password encoding. With me, Nam Ha Ming from Code Java.net. You know, Spring Security requires password encoder. So if the password are encoded in database, if you forget a password, no way to know it because it is encrypted. So in this video, I'd like to show you how to use Blend Text Password for users in development. Uh, blend text password can be convenient for testing purpose uh, such as you don't have to remember password in case you forget one you don't have to rest it from encoded text you see i have a java spring boot project here in which i use a spring security for authentication and uh, a password encoder is declared as a bin in the a web security configuration class here it is a pcrypt password encoder okay let me start uh, this uh, spring boot application and uh, show you the login uh, function and the user's passwords are encoded in a database here in the user's table you see uh, password uh, is encoded here so if somehow i forget uh, the password uh, no way to uh, recover no way to rest it because the password text is uh, encoded in the database so it would be very convenient if we can store plain text uh, password here for testing purposes in uh, development mode right okay the application has started successfully you see Tomcat started on port number 8080 uh, with context path is empty. Now let me access this uh, web application in browser here. Localhost and click uh, login. Username is email. Okay, you see I have signed successfully. If somehow I uh, forgot my password like this you see so no way to know the password again because it is encoded like this so in development mode for testing purpose we can use a plain text password encoder so we can see the password store as plain text in the database to do so in the security uh, configuration class uh, instead of returning a bcrypt password encoder you can use another encoder that uh, does not encode uh, password like this return uh, no op password encoder get instance you see uh, uh, the ide shows a warning message saying that the type no op password encoder is uh, duplicated uh, don't worry it's because this class uh, is insecure and it is marked duplicated so we should use it uh, for testing purpose only you see a password encoder that does nothing useful for testing where working with plain text uh, password may be preferred all right save the change and uh, we we'll test again now if i enter the correct uh, password i cannot sign in uh, because uh, it uh, see the password not encrypted in the database so i need to change the uh, password here to plain text like this all right apply to save apply finished okay now i sign in again okay so sign in. you see so using a, a plain text password no op password encoder like this you can uh, store plain text uh, passwords in the database so uh, you don't have to rest uh, passwords in case you uh, forget right 
uh, if you don't want to see this uh, deprecation warning message yeah you can create uh, your own uh, password in coda hold the control key and click the no all password in coda class here you can uh, create your own class here like this plain text password in coda and the super interface is uh, password in coda okay finish and copy the code uh, from the no or password encoder here yeah. the code is the same uh, with our uh, duplicated uh, annotation all right and then in the security configuration class you return your own uh, plain text password encoder like this plain text password encoder get instance okay you see and now let me uh, test uh, with another user i create another user here ravi kuma at gmail.com ravi kuma password is ravi123 all right apply apply finish and test assign ravi kuma at gmail.com ravi123 okay i have signed successfully as the user ravi kuma so that's uh, my simple tip uh, to use uh, brain text uh, password uh, with the supporting security you just uh, return uh, no or password encoder rest instance here or create your own uh, password encoder class like this not that you should use uh, the brain text uh, password uh, encoder in development for testing purpose only in production you should use a strong password encoder such as uh, bcrypt password encoder i hope you found this uh, video helpful please subscribe to my channel like comment and share this video thanks for watching